Here's the low power shape. And then high power. Yeah, good. It's a combined nevus. And so when we say combined nevus, we usually say what components are present. So I'd say combined nevus with a conventional nevus, banal nevus, whatever name you want to call that, congenital pattern nevus. And to me, I would call this deep penetrating nevus or deep penetrating melanocytoma because we've got plump kind of epithelioid to spindled cells with abundant grayish cytoplasm with some fine melanin pigment. And they're making these kind of elongated nests between the collagen. And then we've got these really darkly pigmented uh, melanophages scattered in the background. And it's again, arising in the context of a pre-existing conventional nevus. So that's gonna probably be BRAF or other uh, tyrosine kinase driven and then beta catenin added on top of it in these here. So uh, similar to that one we saw previously, uh, I think the cytology in this case actually even, even more kind of classic to me uh, for a deep penetrating nevus. And you can see, even though it's not quite as wedge shaped as the previous case, it kind of is, right? If you use an imagination, you can kind of see that it kind of points down like to right here at these erector pili. So again, you have to really use your imagination though. Um, and it is tracking kind of a long adnexa. So combined um, uh, uh, nevus and deep penetrating nevus slash melanocytoma.